back on. I said, I remember the one at Castleton that fell off. Right. Oh, fell off. <laughs> right. Right. That was, that was during the game. Ian, first question, have you ever known anything like tonight? No, nothing. I, I've seen lights go off before, but then they've kind of regenerated and come back on, but nothing quite to the, to the level of that, to be fair. Have you been given any sort of indication as to what happened with the floodlights? Oh, it's just an electrical fault. Um, it's tripped out. It, well, it can happen. It's happened at a terrible point as well when the game's kind of in the balance at 16-12. So, yeah, um, and they, we just we started getting a bit of momentum and then they were just starting to get a bit of momentum back as well. It, it was turning out probably going to be into a decent game as well, I thought. Um, but, yeah, it, it's happened and can't deal, can't control that. Once the lights did go out, was there ever any point where you thought the game might restart? Yeah, the, the um, officials and the obviously the electricians all went on and just said, can you give us 10 minutes and let's have a little look at it because we have to leave them off for 10 minutes now and then try and reboot it. And then if they come back on, all good. But I think when they tried them, it tripped again on the back. And then they've just said that they don't think they'll be able to get it because apparently last time something like this has happened, it's been like 90 odd minutes or something like that because it's just kept tripping. So it's unfortunately, like I say, it's happened during our game. So the question is, what happens next? Well, that's what we've just been discussing in there. So there's a few perpetrations thrown around because, um, so they're going to go to the RFL and the RFL are going to have a meeting uh, tomorrow morning to when to play the game again, really, because I think the game is massively important for both teams. Um, obviously, both teams want to win. Um, Leah kind of on that cusp of 28 points. We're on that where if we get four wins, we can get 28 points as well. So they want to win. Yeah, it's, it's a, a big call now for the RFL to whether which way they go, whether they start the game at that point there or whether they restart. Um, we, we obviously petition for it to be restarted, but I, I, I don't know if I'm talking sense there or not, but I think what's it, there'll be a few perpetrations that are thrown up now, but it's going to add to the workload, obviously, of both clubs because you're going to end up having a short turnaround at, at some point, again, even shorter than probably what we've had, we've had in the last few weeks. I've never, ever known a game start from a predestined point yeah no I, I've not as well but it was just kind of one of the things that was just kind of thrown around in there before and like I say the RFL have got the power to make the decision on the back end of that so whether they go whether they go with that whether they restart the full game I, um, I can't guess which way but um, yeah we'll, let, let's see what the RFL do they've got to do their job now it's it's, it's nobody's fault it's, it's just something that's happened and it's been out of everybody's control so let's just see what the RFL come up with now um, in terms of when it's played this weekend's out of the question Oh, I, I don't think so. Uh, I, I don't know. They're, they're the things that the RFL are going to look at now, um, of whether it might be played pretty quickly or whether it might be after the next game, to be fair. But like I say, both both clubs were both adamant they want to play. Both understand that it's just out of their control and it's one of them things. It's You can say it's at Lee and it's their game, but it's you can't control stuff like that, mate. It just is what it is. You've never seen anything like it before. No. The players surely won't. So what was what was their reaction when all this was going? Oh, well, well, Kev was naked when I walked in there, so <laughs> he couldn't have gone back out and played anyway. <laughs> so um, yeah, th th mate, honestly, th they were all different. Some were like, we won't be going back out now, and some were like, still hoping to kind of get back out there. So, like I say, th mate, no one's ever seen it before, so no one knew really what to do. The the referees, I thought, were really good. They kept um, in contact with us and kept saying. Listen, let's give it 10 minutes. The electricians came back in and said, give us 15 more minutes. We'll have a crack at it to try and get it on. So I, I think everyone um, associated with Lee, um, the officials, and both teams have acted pretty pretty good, mate, in the situation. And probably, this, obviously, the supporters as well, because it will have been tough on them, because they, they probably had a great night up until, obviously, that point. How happy were you with the 48 minutes that was played then? Oh, we didn't start the way we wanted to start the game, to be fair. Um, but we felt like we were kind of finding our feet and then I think start of the second half, we started to get a little bit of momentum and got the game back in the balance. Um, so it would have been very interesting to see what happens in that next kind of 30 odd minutes. Well, let's hope nothing like this ever happens again. Yeah, yeah, oh, so hopefully it gets sorted out quickly anyway and then we, we all know where we are. Cheers, yeah. what's up? Cheers, mate. Thanks, JD. Cheers. How are you, mate? How are you? Yeah, you can pass